Hey guys and welcome. In the following video I'm going to give you an overview of the typography section with your Kyoto theme. So it's pretty simple. Uh, you can have uh, a view of the tutorial for adding new fonts. There's a tutorial in here and of course this tutorial that I'm uh, showing you right now uh, will also be in the introduction section. Now typography can easily be updated uh, with flow themes so there's a few different areas for that. So to get the typography area, go to Flow Themes Typography. And then of course on the left side, you can navigate through the different typography options. Now you'll see that there are a number of font styles here. And this is the generic typography area is basically the style options for the theme. And if you set these up, it'll basically uh, change the entire style of your site. So you'll have the most important fonts here including the text input fields. So, and that will also be for a call to actions and on your contact forms, paragraph fonts uh, one and paragraph fonts two, where uh, that's actually with the link. Uh, so if it's a link, it will um, be this particular font. H1, so that's a header fonts, H2, H3, H4, H5 and H6. So just the different header styles. And then uh, a font for um, quotes. So, you have the, the different typography options here. Uh, probably the most important option in here would be the tablet font size zoom factor. And uh, you can check out the site uh, on your tablets and you'll see uh, the fonts may be a little small. If that's the case, we recommend increasing the zoom factor by between 20 and 50% on the tablets. And that will increase that font size. Now let's get into the customized font styles area. This is where you can actually update the actual styles and you'll see there are three different tabs here. Uh, the first tab is the font styles tab and that will probably be the most important for you. Uh, but basically uh, here is all the different styles available to you so that you can use these uh, in the different blocks throughout the theme. And of course, again, choose those in the generic typography section also. So you'll have a whole load of font styles here and uh, they aren't necessarily um, this isn't H1. Uh, if you go to use heading one, for example, it won't actually be an H1 font uh, whenever you, it's rendered on the front end. This is just styling. It's nothing related to HTML, etc. Now, to edit any font style is really simple. You can simply click the pencil icon, choose any of the fonts that are available here, and that will be basically the fonts that are uh, that have been added. Uh, either from the theme or if you've added some of these custom fonts or Google fonts, they will all display in this area. You can then choose the font sizing, uh, the mobile font sizing, the word spacing, line heights. So let's reduce this again so you can see the preview. The preview is over here on the uh, right hand side. You also have the option to choose uh, if it's all caps, regular case, um, and not no case at all. So it will just uh, go as default. You can bold the font, italicize, and underline it, as well as choosing the color. You also have options for hover and active. So if you want to choose a, a custom style for whenever you hover over the, this particular font, you can enable the custom font style and then just uh, choose a couple of the options for that. And the same with active. Uh, to be honest, these will probably not be used unless it's a menu item. Otherwise, you're just going to go and focus on the default. You can, of course, update the font style name as well. And um, if you want to update the uh, name of this, so whenever you go to use it in your different block areas, uh, you will be able to understand what it is. For now, I'm going to leave it as it is. All you have to do is hit the X uh, to save and then hit update. And that will update the font style. And again, you can do that for any of the uh, styles in here and um, update them. And it will, of course, at a global level uh, update throughout the entire site um, wherever this uh, font style is actually used. I'm going to go to Google Fonts. If you want to add a Google Font, it's very simple. Just click Add a Font, click on here the pencil, and then choose the font from any of the Google Font options. So you can choose any font that you want basically, um, and then that will allow the font style, so for example I set up Able, to then be possible to use in the actual styling area. The same applies to custom fonts. Simply add font, upload your OTF files, your WOFF files, or your TTF files. Basically the web standard formats, and you can see that here uh, for the web. Upload the fonts, and of course then they will also be available to you in the font styles area. 
just a note on custom fonts. Um, if you have specific characters, maybe you need Latin extended format, make sure that your font supports that so that it works. Also, make sure that you have a WAV file and a TTF file um, as it will work best for uh, multiple devices and for the different browsers. Again, once you're happy with that, you can go ahead and hit update and that will update the styles for the site. For the quick font setup, again, you can uh, update the three different font styles and just choose any of the existing fonts to set those up. Um, and of course, then that will update the fonts for the site. Not really recommended to choose this option. Uh, the best area will still be the font styles here. And if you want to use anything for generic type, I would just update the generic typography section. As mentioned, once you're happy with that, go ahead and hit update, and that will be your font styles applied. Now, if you want to uh, choose any fonts for particular blocks, all you have to do is go to any of your pages, and then inside the blocks, you will be able to actually choose a font style if you wanted to update that as a default. As default, we will use the fonts as styled for the block and what the block was set up and created to look like, but you can go ahead and update that to suit your own needs. So if we go to the layout section, once it's loaded, okay, let's go to the layout section. And in here, we'll just go to any particular block. And for example, this featured image block, and you'll see that there's a, a title font. So you can choose any of the font styles that you've set up and of course use them for this block. Same principle applies if you wanted to edit it uh, directly from this area, you can hit the pencil, it will go to the typography section and you can make that update as well. And that's it folks, it's really simple to use fonts and update them on your site. Uh, you can go ahead through any of the blocks and if they have an option to choose the font styling, you can select that option. As mentioned, at a default level, if you wanted to just update this font for all the blocks that use this and keep it more consistent, you would just hit the pencil icon, edit that font in the typography area, and that would update it globally. So go ahead, update the fonts and get using them for your site.